so we finished our e-stim treatment. I'm hoping with this uh, camera angle you can see the leg a little better. I don't know if you can see Feta's face, but she's very excited to uh, start getting some of the treats that I have set up within easy reach. I want to make sure that I keep this as positive uh, an experience for her as possible so she doesn't get really cranky every time I start touching her leg. So again, I'm supporting her pelvis by pushing it up against my hip. And then I'm trying to distract her front end as much as possible to get this stretching. You can see already it's a bit better. Uh, I hope you can see. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, honey. So if I could, I'd be giving her a treat right now, but obviously I don't have enough hands for that. You can see again, like I'm holding it and then every now and then it kind of spasms. And again, I'm not sure. I think that might be an involuntary contraction. Easy, honey. But I can feel uh, something happening. There's little twitches here in her hamstring, which is good. That's what we want to be happening. We want to remind that muscle how to move. I know, baby. Ow! Cats have sharp teeth when they take treats. So we work on that a little bit. Work on just stretching it. And you can see when she gets the twinges, I don't know if you can see her toes, but she's spreading her toes there. I think it is uncomfortable. Um, and again, she's swaddled in the front end because she wants to kind of walk away. And who can blame her, right? Uh, but I'm using my elbow to hold her front end down a little bit. I don't want to push her too far, but it is going to be uncomfortable. There's no way to really avoid that. I know, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Feta. That's why I try to give her lots of treats. I give her um, both kibbles and higher value treats. Try to keep them interspersed. Um, it's so much easier to do with an animal that's food motivated. I also spend a lot of time massaging the hamstring, try to get it as loose as possible. It's feeling pretty good right now. Um, so then we do the leg scrunches like we did before. So you can see just right off the bat, hopefully you can see, we're getting more movement from the stifle already, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see. I know. It's hard to tell with the knee and the black cat and everything, but it is moving better. So then we're going to do the same thing again. I'm tucking my little finger in, and then hopefully you can see this, starting kind of with the foot and kind of scrunching her up again towards my hip, pushing onto my hip. Good girl. And then we just want to hold it. Good girl. So since she's being pretty cooperative, I'm going to try to let go of this hand so I can reinforce her front end with more food and hope that she doesn't miss the tiny kibbles and get my fingers instead. So you can see, I hope, this is a lot better than what we were able to get before the e-stim. So I do think that it's helping her. Um, so then we can move it back a little bit. I know, baby. Move it forward a little bit. Again, you know, we're not seeing a ton from the stifle. Maybe you can see better the angle right here. It's not great but it's better than what we had before. So we practice just, I know, I know. So we practice just going back and forth. Good girl, good girl. And holding it as much and as long as possible. And then in addition to doing this, we're doing some uh, on the ground movement and walking, uh, basically teaching her how to use her body in a new way, which also is not fun for her is very important. So this is how I torture my cat twice a day. But it does seem to be helping. And fortunately, the treats make up for a lot. Ow! Even if she gets my fingers on